Hi, my name is Stephen Parton, and I'm an application engineer here at Carolina Motion Control. Today, I will be displaying a human machine interface screen created in XOR's J Mobile Studio. J Mobile Studio is a programming software for a wide range of XOR International's HMIs. Today's demo will be showing three main features of J Mobile a dialog box, recipes, and the real-time trend widget. A dialog box is a page that opens on top of the current page used to notify alarms, errors, or request a user's action. The recipes widget is a collection of values in sets used to download the selected values to a tag. The real-time trend widget will show the change in values of a tag in a graphical display. So let's jump in. So the first thing to pop up when we open our, when we start our HMI, is the dialog box, which is asking us to select a product. Um, so in this case, you know, we can select any from any of the one five products. We'll select product three and we'll download it to the HMI. So what this is gonna do for our uh, temperature settings is set a high and low. And then we can close our window now that we have selected a product. So if we come over here to our main page, this is showing you a real-time diagram of our temperatures. So temperature A and temperature B. Currently, these are our limits. So at about 95, I believe that is, uh, and then 25. So it's our low, that's our high. So if we ever get outside of those limits, we will have an alarm come up. Uh, first, we're going to come over here to temp C and D. So this is a new chart. We can see here by our key. Here we have temp C and D. So D is our red. And C is the black. So that's our high for C and that's our low for C. So we'll come back over here to temp A and B. And let's say we selected product 3, but you know now we want to select product 2. Uh, we had a line change or something. Uh, now we have selected product two and we can see that our upper and lower limits have changed. Come back to product one, select download, you can see them change again. So we're gonna let this go for a minute until an alarm has, comes true. It looks like our thermal B is about to hit the alarm limit. So thermal couple B and so thermal couple B, you can see here it was triggered and the trigger has not been acknowledged. The value at when it was triggered was 102, so our limit was set at 100. And it went over that limit, so now we have our timestamp as well. When did it happen? We can check it, we can acknowledge it now, reset the therms, we'll go back to our main page. Now we can see it started back again. Thank you and I hope you enjoyed it.